Here we are at, uh, at what I guess what you'd call the mosh pit of post-convention uh, television coverage. Uh, just moments ago, if we scan this area here, just moments ago, you saw Governor Wilson, Senator Jim Brulte, Bill Simon, uh, the candidates all out here giving their spin. Uh, rather than just uh, telling you what was here, we'll now cut to flash report coverage uh, where we caught up to a lot of the people here. So hope We're here you with uh, ace reporter Conan Nolan, normally seen with sparks landing in his hair during wildfire coverage, but tonight he was covering uh, what I thought was a pretty subdued debate. But what did you think uh, from center stage? Well, first I have to do my Vince Scully impression. Well, hi, everybody, and a very pleasant good afternoon to you, wherever you may be. <laughs> Uh, Rob, Rob, Stut Porter. Rob, Rob Stutzman on him now. <laughs> Jerry Doggett. <laughs> well, I thought it was an interesting debate. Uh, I uh, thought it was substantive. We tried to stick to the questions that uh, were sent to us uh, by through the, uh, the new majority website. Uh, there were a, a lot that dealt with, there were far more than you'd expect that dealt with marijuana. Um, but a lot uh, dealt with uh, the issues that we covered, jobs, the economy, uh, AB 32 and the environmental regulations, uh, and uh, immigration. And I thought they covered it all. Uh, I was, um, I think some people go into these debates expecting a, a little more give and take. They like the uh, heat more than they like the light. Uh, but I think we had a little of that, maybe at the end. But for the most part, if people were interested in uh, figuring out where they stand on these issues, I think they got a good you know, tutorial. Well, you certainly did a great job. Well, Thank you very much. Right. Uh, Ron Nering, chairman of the California Republican Party. We're going to go out on a limb and say that you're probably not going to declare either candidate the winner. You're probably going to say the party was the winner. But uh, rather than us putting words in your mouth, uh, what did you think about tonight's debate? Well, as you can predict, John, I think the clear loser today was Jerry Brown. The clear winner today was the Republican Party. But what I was most uh, pleasantly surprised about is how solution-oriented and policy-oriented the discussion was today. Most people would have probably predicted that uh, the discussion would have been a lot of sniping and carping going back and forth. And there was a little bit of that, but really both candidates showed that they've done their homework, they're well prepared to take on uh, Sacramento and the challenges of this state, and they're, uh, they're, really, uh, they're really coming to this campaign with a lot of solutions that they're put, offering up and putting on the table. Uh, what would you say to Californians about the prospect of a, of a second Jerry Brown governorship? Well, Jerry Brown has been governor for two terms before. He's had enough. He needs to not be let anywhere near the governor's office without a visitor's pass. And part of the reason for that is we know his track record uh, is directly responsible for the fact that we have an infrastructure of 20, for 20 million people in a state where we have 35 million people. When Jerry Brown was governor, he canceled freeway projects. He canceled uh, infrastructure projects, water, power. Uh, and that's why we have so many of the problems that we have today. And the solutions are so much more expensive because Jerry Brown's failed vision the last time he was let in that governor's office. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we're here with uh, Alan Zerberg, the uh, president of the California Chamber of Commerce. Uh, the chamber was a sponsor of today's debate, and invariably, Alan had one of the best seats in the House. So, uh, from your uh, excellent vantage point, what did you think about the debate? Well, I thought the debate uh, characterized how much these two candidates care about jobs employment and the economy in California, that that's the real answer to the economy uh, and, and solving our budget problem. I think the uh, Democratic uh, opponent's going to really have our hands full, no matter who gets the nomination here, because these people care about what the people care about, and that's jobs in the economy and solving the deficit in California. Yeah, you care to uh, imagine what's going to happen to the business climate in California if Jerry Brown were to become governor? Well, I think we're in a situation where the number one issue for everybody is the jobs. And we need somebody who has a track record and uh, make sure that they uh, uh, put their money where their mouth is and say uh, when they care about jobs, they're going to take the action that's going to make a difference in creating jobs in California. Perfect. We're here with uh, Larry Higby from the California New Majority. Uh, what are your thoughts uh, following uh, the New Majority? We, could not, have, we could not have been more pleased the way the debate turned out, not only the professionalism of both candidates, but the format that allowed for absolutely, I think, a thorough discussion of a lot of the issues. Okay, we're here with uh, two leaders of the New Majority. We're uh, here with Fritch uh, Hitchcock, who is the president of the Los Angeles County Chapter and also vice chairman of California New Majority. We're also here with John Bennett, who heads up the Inland Empire chapter of the New Majority, and uh, what do you guys think of the debate? Very informative. Yeah. I, I thought the two candidates were about as professional as I've ever seen, including even some presidential debates. I thought they both did a great job. I mean, I could tell you, as we've talked to a lot of people here today, there's been a lot of comment about 
uh, the great environment you guys set up here at the debate. I can tell you the press corps has been particularly happy with all the great um, food that you guys have been serving up here in the press room. Um, but uh, I guess uh, um, did you guys? Uh, I guess you guys aren't really in a position to say who won the debate. But uh, but uh, but uh, um, there's been a lot of positive comments about the, the the style of the debate and the decorum of the debate. I, I thought that both candidates art articulated their differences in a very friendly manner. Where they disagreed, they disagreed. But where they had some common ground, they weren't afraid to look at the other one and say, hey, I agree with Meg on this, or I agree with Steve on that, which I thought was very good. Uh, it's going to be a slug fest here going down to the wire, to the primary. So I don't know how many more debates are coming, but uh, hopefully they'll be run in the same manner this one was. But I really thought there was a good differentiation in there, too opinions on how to how to bring the state back. It was very informative and entertaining at the same time. And you guys uh, bring a good healthy number of your members here uh, for the debate? Did they? Oh, it was a packed crowd today, yes. Well, that's perfect. Well, I can tell you, events like this help to keep the new majority on everybody's radar screen. You guys are to be congratulated for a great event. Thanks very much, and that, that is a big help for us. I, we even noticed people here from the New York Times and people around New Majority uh, can use that help, too. It's good. All right, thank uh, you. We're here with uh, Joel Reedy, who's the uh, president of the New Majority in uh, San Diego. Of course, the New Majority just hosted this debate. How did you think it went? I thought it went very well. I thought both candidates uh, did a great job. And uh, so uh, do you, I suppose you had a good seat. Did you? Uh, a lot of people have been saying they liked the fact that it was a very policy-oriented discussion. Um, uh, maybe you'd care to comment about uh, two more, what, two more, what do you think uh, Jerry Brown uh, has coming his way? Well, I think he's got, he's going to have a great candidate coming his way, whichever candidate wins the primary. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the real winner here are the Republican ideals and Republican principles that uh, both candidates articulated, because uh, I think what people will begin to see is that there's a, um, there's, a real, there's really a stark difference between the policies that either of these two candidates would, uh, would employ uh, when elected governor versus Jerry Brown's. Perfect. Thank you very um, much. We're also here with uh, Tom McKiernan, president of the New Majority Orange County, uh, who undoubtedly had a great seat for the debate. Uh, what did you think? I thought the debate was great. I think what we wanted to accomplish got accomplished. We wanted to introduce Californians. Uh, everyone can watch the ads and the spin. But uh, I think we got them better acquainted with the candidates tonight. And I think both candidates uh, comported themselves very well. And both of them will be a sharp contrast to the likely opponent, uh, the long-term career politician, Jerry Brown.